Young Will Barker, a courageous young rugby player from Stanningley, was diagnosed with a grade 2 brain tumour over 12 months ago. Will's bravery and strong positive attitude has been amazing and has even seen him back on the rugby pitch following his treatment to play the sport he loves so much. In honour of Will's bravery and courage, his family have set up a charity in Will's name, known as Will's Way. The charity aims to take something from his brave, strong, positive attitude to help other families who find themselves in situations like them. We were fortunate to join Will, his family, supporters and ex Stanley professional rugby players right here at Headingley Stadium during a Will's Way charity night. I'm joined by Jamie Peacock here at the amazing charity event raising money for Will's Way. Jamie, how do you feel knowing that you're raising money and being part of something incredible tonight, this charity event? Yeah, I just think, um, you know, looking around, there's 400 people here and it speaks volumes about Rugby League as a community and also this part of Leeds as a community that people can rally around someone and turn out the time and be generous tonight. So as part of the event, there's a painting just behind us that has been painted and you're in it. What do you think of the painting? I think it's outstanding. I think um, like to be good at art and to have that ability, it's a great ability to have. And to give up his time uh, to do this for such a magnificent cause and it involves Rugby League as well, it's fantastic. And why do you think it's so important to support the Stanningley boys? Because obviously Will's been at Stanningley. Why do you think it's so important being a Stanningley boy yourself? Well, I just think um, when I was younger growing up, rugby, rugby gave me a pathway into what I'm doing here today. And uh, yeah. I think you just should always pay respect to your roots. And if it wasn't for Stanley Rugby Club, I wouldn't be stood here today. There's thousands of other boys who could say the same things. Kept me out of trouble and keeps other boys out of trouble too. That's amazing. Well, we'll keep you any longer because I know you've got your speech. So Thank good you. luck with that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. No Thank worries. you. Yeah. I'm joined by Ty Barker, Will Barker's dad. What do you think of the turnout tonight? I'm just overwhelmed to be fair really. Obviously I knew it was always going to be a great occasion but when you see so many people in such a large room and it's it's actually full, I just can't believe that um, so many people have turned up for us. And they're all here for your son and the charity that he's created. Does that make you feel really proud as a father? It does yeah but obviously it shows as well with rugby community how, how people pull together don't they as yeah. well. It's, so we've been selling lots of charity things tonight for the charity, we've been auctioning things off. How does that make you feel knowing that people have come for such a great cause and they're helping this charity that you've created? Well like I say, they're just, I know that the, the rugby family will do anything for you and they'll just, they will, they'll just dig deep and they'll just, they'd run them, they'd climb a mountain for you if they could do. So for people out there that are watching, that have been in a similar situation possibly to Will, you know, you've created such an amazing event tonight, that kind of gives them a glimmer of hope. So what kind of advice would you give to people out there that have been in the same predicament that you've been in as a family? Well, just, I think, like how Will's been, is just like, never give up, obviously. We've had some bad news over the last year or so, um, last six months. Um, he's just lifted his head up high, he's carried on, he's lived his normal life really and it just shows that you can't, you can't be weak really, you've got to be strong with things and... And how has that changed you as a family, do you think, has it brought you closer? Yeah, most definitely it's made us closer, obviously, like you say, we've had, we've had dark nights, we've had, we've had tears, we've had everything really, but hopefully like we, it's still not over things but... Yeah. We're making this a good thing now, we're making yeah. it positive, so we'll make a lot of positives out of this. So Will was in the foundation video, he featured in it, and he's also in the painting. What do you think about the painting? Well the painting's amazing, obviously it was one of the things that my uncle said straight away when obviously we knew what bad times we were going through, that he just wanted to help us along with some, something and obviously that's the best thing he could do. And uh, although we've got the 12 Super League players, he just said that William's got to be in the middle of it and he's got to be centre of the point because that's what the, that's what it's all about. It's all about William and trying to raise money for a great charity hopefully. Well it's an incredible event that you're doing. Thank you so much and good luck with everything else that you're doing this evening. No, thank you, thank you. Right, I'm here with a real superstar tonight. He's not a rugby player. I reckon he'd make a good dummy half if he was. This is Niall Wilson, I'm sure you all know. Olympic bronze medalist on the horizontal bar now. Jimmy Peacock started off tonight by saying, I don't think he could do horizontal bar, but it'll be horizontal in the bar uh, this evening. Uh, a bit of a crap pot, but it's great to see you, Paul. I can see you've got yeah, you a, a boot on there. What's going on there? Yeah, I um, had a bit of a freak accident in training about five weeks ago. I snapped like, two ligaments in my ankle. So it's a bit of a bit of a setback, a bit of adversity through myself, you know. Something that we've all been through as a career, as you'll know. Absolutely. Um, 
but you know we come back stronger every time still in the gym every day working four hours and doing everything I can do so yeah we'll, we'll smash for it I'm so glad you said that because it does it makes you stronger and every that's time the point I always try to get across people don't be upset by adversity just get through it have the strength to get through it and just come back a lot better now we always really have a lot of uh, injuries playing rugby league but in gymnastics and um, that sort of field mate they can be catastrophic can't they oh definitely I mean same with rugby it's, it's kind of something you sign up for as a professional athlete you know but I mean looking back on your career as a whole you don't remember these downtimes you don't remember these adversity you remember the, the achievements and the bronze medals and the wins and um, that's all I focus on staying positive and, and just just think, thinking about the end goal you know my end goal is the next Olympics winning gold and, and nothing in front of me any obstacle in front of you is going to stop you from doing that so absolutely but do you watch a little rugby league then at all do you yeah I come down with the boys um, you know leads the great the sort of great with me and let us come to the games and things like that so my, my mates are all big fans so it's fantastic mate it's fantastic to see tonight coming to sport young Will I reckon Will will look a little bit like this guy when he's, when he's older Will you've got that, that little Tony Bravo <laughs> look about you what do you think to that painting it's outstanding isn't it oh incredible yeah I mean the whole night as itself you know it's just to, just to hear now the tickets and the sell out instantly just that everyone wants to come and support and it, it was so true about the charity but then Leeds itself you know Leeds is you know we're all we're all Yorks true and born and bred so um, excited to be here and I hope everyone has a great night and enjoys it and will benefits from it. I'm joined by Bob Barker, Will's uncle and the amazing artist behind the painting that's going to be auctioned off this evening. Tell us Bob a bit about why did you paint what you've painted? I, well obviously I painted it because because of Will yeah. um, and because of what Will's been going through and the way that he's been doing it and the charity that he's decided that he wants to give this money to other people who are maybe not quite as fortunate as what he is, which I think yeah. is quite absolutely amazing character on, on Will's behalf. Yeah. Um, I paint for a living and I earn my living out of, out of painting pictures. So the thing that I can do to, uh, to help Will and help the charity for Will is to do what I do, what I think best, is paint a picture. That's and, incredible. And it's the inspiration from Will growing up as a, as a rugby player uh, and playing rugby. And obviously the guys that are here tonight who feature in the picture, um, you know, they obviously started off in Stanley, mm -hmm. which I think is a, a, a massive inspiration behind this whole event. So in terms of tonight, you're auctioning off your painting. How can people who are watching this get involved with sort of sending money to the charity or even buying a you know replica of your painting? Well, my publishers, are Washington Green Fine Art, they are one of the biggest publishers in Europe, and they own a, a franchise of galleries all across nationwide across the country um, called Castle Galleries, and they will be selling all the edition. Um, not only the special editions that are getting signed by all the players tonight, but yeah. they're going to sell the normal edition. <coughs> excuse me, throughout the throughout the galleries. So any Castle Gallery, any Washington Green Fine Art website, you can you can find information about this. I started rugby about four years old. Dad was a player so he kind of made me play a little bit <laughs> but then um, started enjoying it and um, started down at Hillsbrooks uh, in Sheffield then just carried on from there. Yeah I started um, at five year old down at my local side just because all my mates were playing it. My dad were a player as well so I just sort of had the influence of family and friends to be fair. Played for Hillsborough Hawks as in Sheffield. Ultimate Raiders I played. I've always played um, in the halves. When you're younger, it's not necessarily about positions, but yeah, I've always played in the halves, yeah. I sort of um, established myself as a prop. I used to be an halfback when I was about 10. Growing up, uh, you obviously have a lot of idols. Um, Darren Lockie was a big inspiration for me, watching him play and, and stuff like that. And um, also my dad was probably a, a, a big, quite a big inspiration as well, in influencing me to play with me, so. Yeah, I um, watched my dad a lot when I was growing up, so he had a massive influence on my game. And then uh, when Sam Burgess obviously went over to NRL, they were a massive inspiration for me, just what he did and stuff like that. The hardest challenge is probably coming back from injury, that's, that's always tough, you know, like having the confidence, if, if it's a massive injury, I've been quite fortunate with injuries, but just like little ones, um, just coming back from them is just always, always tough. I think adapting to a full-time environment from uh, part-time, massive difference and uh, 
massive change on how your body has to uh, recover for different sessions and stuff. Make sure you're enjoying it, that, that's the main thing. When you're enjoying rugby and, and enjoying training, then you, um, you're more likely to succeed, so that, that is the main thing. Failure isn't like, uh, failure, you can fail. You, failures are just experiences that you learn and you get stronger from, so take them for failures and use it as an experience.